you're watching VTO40 and this is VTO Girl and today I wanted to go over what gear you should be wearing. Um, now I am still working on my gear but I wanted to kind of go over what you should be looking for and what you should be aiming to get. Now the first thing that I want to point out is your tier gear. So you should be have your tier 1 gear and you can upgrade to your tier 2 gear. Now your tier gear is actually fairly easy to get if you're in a guild. All you need to do is run uh, Dragon's Sky normal and up uh, in the normal mode to get tier 1 gear. Now uh, these raids drop tier 1 gear if you have 20 people that have charges for that raid. If you don't have enough people to get the tier one drops from the raid, you always get commendations from the raid and you can turn those commendations in for your tier gear. Please check the description below for a link to getting tier gear, uh, the video that I made. Now, um, besides your tier gear, you want your pink rings and these are your uh, legendary rings. And here you can see that I have one on the uh, right hand side. I'm still working on leveling these up. I am not there yet, but you should be getting your legendary rings, your legendary uh, necklace, and your accessory. So those are the ones that you wanna get. Now, how do you go about getting those? Because I don't have a video on those already. All right, your legendary rings um, are dropped from dungeons. Unfortunately, they're not common enough to be able to probably get your full set by just doing that. So you can go into your trade area go into accessory and from there you can find your um, accessories, your rings and your necklaces. Now here uh, there's going to be some that are available and some that aren't. I did hit the little star on the ones that I wanted to get. I want to point out though that uh, check the stats first because some have strength, uh, some have intelligence, actually two usually have intelligence and one have strength. So if you're a strength based class Definitely look for the ones that have strength on them. If you're an intelligence-based class, um, check those. I think that there are some that I saw with healing uh, as, a, as an added bonus, so those would be good for healers. So just kind of check the different ones. I kind of aim for the level 55 ones, but that doesn't mean that there might not be some bonuses on the lower ones that you might find helpful. But definitely I think the level five one, 55 ones are probably the way to go. Okay, now that you've got your ring, just make sure to um, smelt them up so that they are at your max uh, and the stats will improve as you smelt them. Okay, besides smelting and cleansing your new rings and necklace and accessory, you also need to level them up. So if you click on them, you can get the tier up option. So here I am going into the tier up section and with your different pieces that you can get um, either from the shops or whatever you can tear up your rings so here i'm going to go ahead and buy the things that i need to tear up my ring and i'm going to go ahead and upgrade my ring to the next level and here you can see it's a big improvement also once i upgrade it i am not going to lose all the smelting and cleansing that I have done before. So go ahead and upgrade those as soon as you have enough gold to be able to do so. I think it costs about um, 300 gold uh, average um, per item that I purchased. So maybe a little bit more. So it does take some gold, but make sure if you continue to run your raids that you will be able to get that. Okay, that is your armor and accessories. The next thing we want to look at is your weapon. Now, right now that the best weapons that drop are in Warhammer Peak Adventure. So if your guild is running Warhammer Peak Adventure, definitely bid on some of those uh, either weapons or offhand weapons that drop. Okay, and the title says these are worm rest swords, giant swords, and daggers, those sort of things. These can be found under the guild auction when you run your dungeon. So go ahead and check there for these drops. Again, please ignore my cruddy sword on the left. Okay, also make sure to go in besides smelting and cleansing to enchant all of your gear. Um, I'm actually still working on some of it, but the basic enchantments you can at least put on and those are uh, listed kind of on the side and towards the bottom. 
Um, now these actually don't require just one crafting ability, they require all three. So you're going to need to make sure to go into blacksmithing, tailoring, the um, cloth one and uh, the leather working to craft all of your enchantments. Now, um, when you go in through there, it's in the crafting menu and profession, and here you can switch your profession so that you can do all three. All right, hopefully you found this helpful as to what gear to focus on getting as you go. And um, you're watching VGO40, and this is VGO Girl, and we will see you next time in World of Kings.